Nice to meet you. you can, just while you're speaking, you can take the mask off. It's up to you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. First and foremost, I would like to thank Governor Murphy for taking his time to host our graduation ceremony. I would also like to thank all New Jersey Transit's locomotive engineer instructors for their dedication in teaching and guiding us throughout these last 20 months. I would also like to especially thank my instructor, Lamont Sims, for giving me the opportunity to speak here today. Last but certainly not least, I would like to thank my family and all the families of my classmates for understanding and supporting us through long nights of studying and preparing ourselves for what the next day of class might bring. My name is Kevin Magnuson, and I'm a proud member of the graduating class in 1903. I'm honored to, honored to be the guest speaker here today. Class 1903, we have all come a very long way from the first day of class, literally hundreds of tests, quizzes, and exams. I'm sure that none of us will ever forget walking into that classroom and sitting down in front of a mountain of books and manuals and thinking, what have I gotten myself into? How am I ever going to retain all of this? From, what learn, from learning what seemed to be an impossible amount of, amount of information to a global pandemic, we have persevered. When the pandemic started, we utilized distance learning via Skype, a first ever for the program, to learn in-depth in -depth information about our equipment. While this was difficult at times, we succeeded. Throughout all the stress and anxiety of waiting for exams to be graded to the uncertainty of the pandemic, we prevailed. Throughout these past 20 months, we have had our ups and downs, laughs and frustrations, but we stuck it out. I know that I speak for all of us in saying we are proud that our hard work and dedication have paid off and that we're standing here today as locomotive engineers. A little bit about me. Uh, I'm a husband and a father of three boys, one of which was born while I was in in LT LETP, which proved to be a little difficult. My oldest two cannot wait to ride daddy's train. Uh, I'm also a veteran. I proudly served in the United States Army. The Army has taught me... Thank you. The Army has taught me many valuable attri attributes such as dedication, determination, teamwork, communication, attention to detail, and how to stay cool, calm, and collected in stressful situations, like public speaking. <laughs> While the Army may have been more physically demanding, it also prepared me mentally for what challenges lay ahead in life, one such challenge being the locomotive engineer training program. Being a soldier and a locomotive engineer are more similar than one might expect. Both are professionals and masters of the craft. Both are alert and aware of their surroundings at all times. Both have an overwhelming compre comprehension of the rules and regulations that govern them. Both are also members of an elite team and understand that communication is the key to success. Class 1903, we are all proficient in train handling. We are all alert and aware of our surroundings. And we all know and understand the rules and regulations that govern us as locomotive engineers. We are a team, from studying together to giving each other pointers when qualifying train handling. We always have and will continue to communicate with one another throughout our careers, always striving to further master our craft as locomotive engineers. The difficulty of the New Jersey Transit Locomotive Engineer Training Program demonstrates that New Jersey Transit and its passengers demand the very best of its engineers to safely and punctually move New Jersey residents over the rail. In Class 1903, we are now part of that team and brotherhood. Thank you, everyone. Great job, man. Congratulations. Thanks for your service. Good morning. It is a real honor to be with each and every one of you. Kevin, thank you. Thank you for your words of introduction. Thank you for your service to our nation. And through you to each of your fellow classmates, thank you all for being a part of NJ Transit's future. I'll have the opportunity, I think, assuming Kevin allows me to say thank you to each of you individually in a few minutes, but it is definitely worth it for me to start with those words. And as you will also undoubtedly hear me repeat, and not just today, this is an exciting time. 
and we need you more than ever before. I'm honored to join NJ Transit Board Chair and Transportation Commissioner Diane gutierrez Scacchetti. and NJ Transit President and Chief Executive Officer, Kevin Corbett. And they join me in extending congratulations to you as well. And I also extend thanks on behalf of your outstanding training team. And I thank them in return for their commitment to you, to NJ Transit, and to the people of New Jersey. This is a, a kind of a special day for me in the sense that I'm starting in this morning, or I guess now afternoon, at a graduation, and I'm ending my day at a graduation. And I'm not graduating either right now or later today, but there are emotional moments, right? These are incredible experiences for you all who have come through the process, which is rigorous, and for your family and friends to be here with you. Um, God bless each and every one of you. So I know today marks the end of your formal classroom learning, and you still have your check rides to complete. But if there's one thing I have learned across the prior classes of new engineers that we've celebrated, you are more than ready to pass those and take your place in the cab of an NJ Transit locomotive. Nearly three and a half years ago, when I took office, I made a commitment to New Jersey's commuters and to the proud women and men across NJ Transit that we would work together to restore service, build the ranks, create a modern and reliable transit system, and restore this agency to its fullest. And Diane and Kevin have been partners with me every step of the way. And every day we have made great progress toward this goal. And with your graduation into the ranks of our Rail Engineer Corps, you stand as a testament to this progress and to our commitment. With your graduation, the ranks of NJ Transit's active rail engineers will now reach nearly 400, and you are among the now more than 100 new rail engineers we will have trained and graduated since we came into office in January of 2018. With your graduation, NJ Transit do do doesn't just have the complete roster it will need to reliably move your passengers up and down and across our state as our economy continues to reopen and recover but we will have the numbers we need to ensure that we don't fall back into the bad old ways. The old ways where literally an engineer or two would call out sick and it would lead to a domino effect of cancellations. The old way of doing business at NJ Transit, of failing to, I, I hear you out there, of failing to invest in, I don't blame you, uh, in failing to invest in new equipment and infrastructure of failing to maintain proper staffing levels of putting politics before commuter service, those days are long gone. And I'll tell you, at every step of the way, it's not just been Diane and Kevin and their teams, but the brothers and sisters of organized labor have stood tall day in and day out. And I want to salute Jerome Johnson, who's with us, and Barry Kushner, who was with us. Barry, you're in the back. And uh, to your colleagues, the men and women uh, who make this show go. So to each and every one of you. So folks, welcome to a new NJ Transit. Today, this agency is focused like never before on improving the customer experience. Everyone has worked hard throughout the pandemic as well. And we're putting this progress online for everyone to track so you can judge it for yourself. Go to njtransit.com slash progress. The men and women who wear the NJ Transit logo show up every day ready to move our state forward figuratively and literally. And with Diane and Kevin and their crew, you have a management team in place that stands shoulder to shoulder with you and with your riders in this mission. And part of this mission is to keep working to restore the ranks. We've already started two new classes this year with two more planned to begin between now and November. And we still have one more class set to graduate before the end of this year. So as we move forward, and as your veteran colleagues look to their own retirements, you're not going to have to worry about whether or not that'll mean the customer confidence that you are working to so hard to restore will wither. In other words, you've got the backs of New Jersey's commuters, and we have yours. These next few months are going to be critical 
for NJ Transit. As I said before, this is an exciting time. Daily ridership is still well below what it was pre-pandemic, but it has been rebounding steadily over the past several weeks. It is not surprising, and as more businesses return to regular operating hours, as more of our colleges and universities return to in-person instruction, as more of our cultural institutions and sporting venues reopen to patrons and fans, ridership is going to continue to grow. And these New Jerseyans are going to find a mass transit system that is not only prepared to welcome them back, but to get them where they need to go safely, on time, reliably. They're going to find an NJ Transit with a clear focus on the customer experience. They're going to see us building new stations and expanding and updating others. And they're going to see new faces in the cab windows as their trains roll in. And those faces are your faces. You are the face of the future of NJ Transit, and I know you will do us all proud. Again, I thank you from the bottom of my heart, and I know Diane and Kevin join me, for making the decision to become a part of the NJ Transit family. And I thank your families for supporting you throughout your training. I hope this decision goes down as one, at, one of, if not the best, you've ever made. Thank you, and again, congratulations. It is now, amen, it is now my privilege to turn things over to the Commissioner of the Department of Transportation and the Chair of the NJ Transit Board, Diane Gutierrez Schicchetti. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, Governor, for inviting me to share in the celebration today. It is an honor for all of us to be part of the graduation of another class of NJ Transit locomotive engineers. This is one of numerous graduation celebrations that I've been blessed to attend over the past couple of years, and I think what I enjoy most is the camaraderie that you all share and your enthusiasm for each other as much as for what it is you are embarking uh, on after today. So as this class of 10 trainees completes their classroom portion of the training and finishes up their field training, it is clear that each of you have demonstrated a commitment to your studies and that commitment has paid off. You are part of an organization that New Jerseyans, businesses, and countless visitors rely on every day. We are so proud of your accomplishments and we are so excited for what the future holds for you. As the governor said when he took office, he made a commitment to improve customer service and the reliability of New Jersey Transit. At the core of that is our ability to maintain a roster of qualified engineers. With the addition of the 100 well-trained locomotive engineers since 2018, the governor, Kevin, and I hopefully have delivered on that promise. And the governor's delivered in a big way. Not only has transit kept up with attrition, it has far exceeded it, boasting a roster of 398 locomotive engineers available to run our system. And with the governor's support, the countless equipment purchases and orders we've placed, the ability for us to continue to provide a high level of customer service is just around the corner. But as we emerge from a year that no one could have ever predicted, we find ourselves ready to greet our customers again as they return to public transit for their transportation needs. And for some of you, this may be a career change, a new career path looking for a new challenge, and for others, this may be your first step into a career. But where you started is far less important than where you're going. You're on an, entering into an exciting opportunity that provides job satisfaction, security for you and your families, and last but not least, stability in the ranks of locomotive engineers that our customers depend on every day. It is not something that can be taken lightly. I, I listen to Kevin's remarks when he talks about the stacks of books before you and how much you had to learn. I had a conversation this morning and I, with a, a person um, and said, I don't know that you all really understand what it takes to be a locomotive engineer. You know, this isn't like driving your car that has, you know, equipment that, you know, basically tells you the car is next to you, if when to stop, when to back up, when to do 100 things. You have to be, as Kevin said, attentive. 100% of the time. People rely on you, we rely on you, but I think what the governor said is most important, 
we have your backs. We want nothing more than for each and every one of you to be successful, to have the ability to support your families, to be members of the unions that serve New Jersey Transit for whom we rely on our partnerships every day, and for our customers to know that they're in the hands of well-trained, well-qualified individuals. So for me, it's so nice to be here this afternoon, not only to wish you well, but to see your families that joined you. We have one commentary. I think she's probably giving us the thumbs up, Governor. What do you think? Um, and to know that you will have a, a long and successful, she's fine, don't worry. We've all had children, it's good. This isn't church, and even in church, they're okay. Uh, it's certainly for us, it's, it's just an honor to be able to see you off, and that's what today is. It's all of us seeing you off to your first day as a valued member, a, full, a fully, uh, fully certified, as soon as you're done your field training, you're fully certified engineer that becomes part of a family of transportation professionals that we need every day in the field. So, Governor, thank you for having me. I wish every one of you well. Um, as you start this journey. You know, Diane, I mentioned, is not just the board chair of NJ Transit, but also the commissioner of the Department of Transportation. And it is worth noting, listen, we have a location as a state that's second to none. We're the densest state in the United States of, of America in the densest region. We're on the Northeast Corridor, which you all know very well. It is important to say that Diane is overseeing a record all-time high investment in our infrastructure, roads, bridges, rails, tunnels, new locomotives that are green, new buses that are green, uh, and we'll continue to do that, uh, I promise you. Diane, thank you. Uh, and with that, please help me welcome another great leader, your Chief Executive Officer of NJ Transit, Kevin Corbett. Thank you, Governor, and uh, I can only echo what the Governor and uh, uh, the Commissioner have said. Uh, it really is a special day. Great to see everyone with uh, families here. Uh, and, and thank you, Governor. Uh, thank you, uh, Diane, for coming today. This is really a special occasion. We're really honored that you could be here to join us. Um, also like to uh, add, as the Governor pointed out, uh, uh, please that Jerome Johnson, the General Chairman and President of Smart uh, TD Local 60, is joining us today. So. Uh, uh, Jerome, as always, um, and uh, Kevin, uh, you know, great, great comments, great speech. Uh, uh, you know, I know, um, you know, as we get into uh, some of the details about what you're all going to be facing, uh, certainly as we restore service, uh, one, one of the events, uh, as we see MetLife is opening up again uh, for events, Guns N' Roses concert, and then the football season, and uh, although you and I may be on the other opposite sides of the field on uh, December 11th, um, we will be providing service to the uh, 20th anniversary of uh, uh, Army-Navy game, 20th anniversary of 9-11, uh, so uh, and we will be providing service. So there's a lot, a lot of work to come down for, all, for everyone. Don't worry, as we're adding all the ranks, there's, there's plenty of work to, to come. Um, so I would like to thank all of you for, uh, you know, uh, and congratulate you for everything you did to get through the program. Uh, when you started in 2019, uh, Kevin, as you touched on, uh, who knew that we we're going to be facing trying to get this done through a pandemic and all the challenges uh, that you faced? And of course, we were in the, the heated battle to get PTC done. Uh, and uh, now you look at how that's operating. I know that the impact that you've all been going through uh, getting that, uh, you know, learning that as we went through that was great experience. So I, I, you all should feel very proud of, of that accomplishment. Um, you know, I think, uh, as the governor told, uh, mentioned, uh, you know, we finally hit the uh, full full uh, rank, and it, governor, it really does seem like it was, you know, decades ago when we were coming in in 2018, looking at the, you know, very very bleak situation, and now to be here today is just uh, extremely rewarding for for all of us, and uh, you are coming into a very uh, very different situation. Uh, you know, for them we were facing a few years ago. So we did have that, uh, we hit the magic number uh, of 390 at the last, uh, last graduation ceremony. And now, uh, as today being 398, um, you know, it's, uh, w the governor said, we need to make sure we keep the ranks uh, full. You know, a few years ago, we were stressing people out to work, uh, even if they wanted overtime, it was way more overtime than they could, they could take. They were just uh, wiped out. 
Uh, we now have a good, healthy rank. People can enjoy uh, vacations. And we know that we're not going to be worried about canceling uh, one person being out, canceling four trips, you know, affecting four, four, four or five thousand commuters who, uh, you know, just because somebody's entitled to take a vacation, you, know, you can't let that, that happen. So, uh, you know, we really are, I think, in a good position, and we are committed to keeping that going. I would say that you really are, uh, not just on the, on the ranks, uh, you know, for our rank and file, uh, for engineers and for trainmen, um, but it's also, it's a very different agency, uh, you know, the governor mentioned, uh, you know, the, uh, the infrastructure investment uh, that uh, Diane has been uh, leading on is just, uh, is un you know, really sort of unprecedented, uh, you know, certainly in decades for New Jersey Transit. Uh, and I think many of you have seen that. Uh, and not just the money, uh, we put over a half a billion dollars into PTC to make sure that we made that. That's a real safety enhancement. We would not have had the Amtrak 188 uh, uh, crash. Um, you know, PTC had been installed. So, uh, but aside from that, if you look at, uh, we have the, one of our new, uh, aside from the heritage uh, locomotives uh, that we have behind us, you know, the new dual mode uh, right there behind you, that's, that's, that's the future. That's where you're going to be, and that takes, that takes money, it takes commitment uh, from the governor and from Diane and our board to give us those resources. So that certainly is uh, a sign of what you're, you're seeing on the equipment side, uh, along with the uh, MU, 113 uh, MUs, multi-levels coming out. That's, that's, that's the future equipment. And that's, uh, you know, the MUs will have those. We ordered them two years ago. They're going to start being delivered, uh, you know, uh, another two year, year and a half from now. So, you know, that's, that's really uh, the, the future that you're seeing. And aside from equipment, you know, if you look at, and I know a number of you have seen it, I've been yeah, seeing some of you in training when I've been riding in the head end, uh, coming in on the M&E. Um, but if you look at, as the governor talked about, uh, the infrastructure in our facilities, the new Raritan River Bridge, if you see that, if you're going down the coastline, that's a $500, $600 million project. That's currently under construction. Long slip fill, when you go to Hoboken, you see that on the south side, that is almost completely filled now. We're going to be adding more platforms and tracks there, elevated to be resilient. A county yard Delco lead along the northeast quarter, just south of New Brunswick. You've all seen that. That's going to be a major uh, facility. And then, you know, uh, the, the things as the governor talked on, the uh, stations. You know, Elizabeth Station, you go along, you see that. Perth Amboy, to name just a few. And, of course, uh, you're not seeing it yet, but we have the, the $1.8 billion portal bridge, uh, so you won't have to be worried about the being stuck uh, for Amtrak preferences uh, with the portal being open. So that is out to bid, and we expect to... Uh, have construction on that uh, beginning by the end of the year. Uh, so, uh, you know, 1.8 billion is one of the largest projects in the country. Uh, and that does not even touch about the fact that uh, just two weeks ago, uh, there was a joint rod, a record of decision by the F FRA and FTA uh, for the final environmental impact statement uh, for the Hudson Tunnel project. So we're now working very hard. Uh, you know, uh, Diane, keeping Diane and I up at night to sleep, trying to figure out how we're going to pay for it, Governor. But that's, uh, you know, obviously very exciting. That project should have been done, uh, you know, decades ago. We only have the two tunnels, 110 plus years old. So uh, we're really excited with uh, the administration and the, uh, the federal funding we anticipate coming as well. Very exciting time for major investments for the future. Uh, it's not just transportation for transportation's sake, although we love transportation as careers. It really is the underpinning of an economy for, for, you, you know, for everyone here and your family, so uh, very exciting. Um, so again, uh, extremely proud of the fact that you're, you know, you're joining New Jersey Transit and um, really uh, uh, wish you all the best um, and congratulations. Um, and uh, I think now I'd like to take the opportunity to recognize every uh, soon-to-be graduates uh, once you get your check ride, uh, so um, individually. So when I call your name, please stand up, give a wave so everyone uh, watching live stream can see you, and then please have a seat. And uh, after I call the names of the last student, I'll ask the governor to come back to the podium for some closing remarks. And as soon as the governor com concludes his remarks, I'll ask all of you to stand in front of your seats with your certificate in hand so we can get a photo of everyone, uh, you know, from, from up here, of everyone uh, uh, here today. So um, uh, with that, let's begin with our first honoree, uh, Anthony Catudala. Anthony. Uh, Ryan Diaz. Uh, Nathan Eigenroth. Uh, Shale and Zeri. And uh, Kevin, you get to take another bow again. <laughs> Kevin Magnuson. 
uh, Hezekiah Harris. Hey, come out, stand up. There you go, Hezekiah. And then uh, Oscar Hughes. And Robert, uh, Robert J. Smith, as opposed to the other Robert Smith. Uh, Robert Taylor. And uh, last but certainly not uh, least, uh, Rodrigo uh, Velasquez. Rodrigo. So uh, thank you all once again. Uh, can't wait to see you out in the field, whether it be a Hoboken or a Newark division. And uh, now I'll ask the governor to come up for uh, some closing remarks. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Did we miss anybody or did we get a run? We got everybody? Perfect. Kevin, thank you for your service to our nation as well. So you get two Kevins on opposite sides of the Army-Navy game. So uh, in each case, God bless you and thank you. And thanks to all our veterans. I think that, uh, that we're back, ma'am. Um, I think that's a wrap. I just want to say again, congratulations. Uh, you're, you could not be joining this organization at a better time. The combination of the investment in human talent and in infrastructure and locomotives and buses and stations and technology is on the ascent. We are emerging at the same time from a pandemic that has cost over 26,000 lives in our state alone, but we are coming out of it. Um, and for both of those reasons, this has never been a more exciting time than right now at NJ Transit. Again, from the bottom of our hearts, on behalf of Diane and Kevin and myself and our teams, we congratulate you, bless you, have great careers ahead of you, and I'm going to come down and we'll all stand up. Kevin, can we take our mask off just for the picture? Why not? Just once, all right? Let's go.